Hi everyone. I want to spend the next two or three minutes sharing a very special memory with you. When I was two years old, I had something called leg perth disease. It causes the bone making the affected hip or hips collapse. So you end up with the hip joint of a 90 year old while you're still a child. I had to have major reconstructive hip surgery when I was five years old. This was followed up by a second surgery to remove metal screws and plates that were used to immobilize my left hip joint while I healed from the initial surgery. What I've found while deep cleaning my home today is my doll, Justin, that I slept with while I was recovering, and this doll stayed with me on the sofa as a five and six year old boy. My grandmother named me this host coat for Justin. You could see here the large buttons that grandma put on as well as the belt here. You know, I really cherish this. I also have a curious George monkey that grandma made him a hospital gown so he could be like me while I was in the hospital and initially at home before I was able to get dressed again. You know, I have really good memories of this, even though it was a difficult time for my family to have gone through. Little things like this host coat mean a lot to me. I remember also my parents buying me a child's play doctor kit. You know, it had a fake stethoscope and the tool used to check the eyes, a few large popsicle sticks for the tongue depressor, it had some bandages and fake plastic needles, all to help me get ready for having major hip surgery. So even if you or your family is going through this right now, I want to let you know it will be okay one day at a time. And honestly, if you think more than one day at a time, you could very easily get overwhelmed. I wanted to share this with you and the few ideas that I've had so you could get your family thinking about what's appropriate for your son or daughter with whatever situation that they're in now. Certainly, as an adult, they'll respect you for doing it. And as a child, it will help them cope and continue to mature as child, you know, as a child learns so much during the first few years of their life. Thanks for this time that you've spent with me today. Bye for now.